So as if the Super Saiyan 4 banners and the Legendary Summon banners wasn't enough, Bandai had to throw the Otherworld Tournament banner at us. And this banner is amazing. We're about to do the card review of Showdown with the Otherworld's Mightiest. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokkanic here, and today we're going to be going over all the banner cards on the new Otherworld Tournament banner. Now one thing I want to state, this banner, the only SSRs on this banner are the cards from this specific event. So the Super Saiyan Kaioken, Goku, Angel, Pai Kuhan, Cell, Frieza, King Cold, they are the only, well, not King Cold because he's an SR, but they are the only featured units, they are the only SSRs in this banner, so any SSR that you do pull is going to be one of them. Let's go ahead and do the card review before I tell you which ones you're going to want to actually go for. Uh, so first one we're going to talk about is King Cold. Lying in wait, King Cold Angel. He's a technique type, his leader skill is intelligence type, enemy attack minus 20%. Super attack, full power, death beam, causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, despicable emperor, attacked enemies attack minus 25%, so he's a debuffing unit. Link skills, brutal beatdown, strongest clan in space, tough as nails, thirst for conquest, otherworld warriors. His max stats are HP of 8800, attack of 6360, and defense of 2900. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 125%, which is super underwhelming, but for an SR, what can you expect? Um, I did just want to go over the Otherworld Warriors link, just because it's new, it's attack plus 20%. Uh, I don't really see you guys, or anyone, really running an Otherworld Warriors team, unless you're kind of you know, throwing in the Paikuan and the Goku on a Heroes team for fun. There, that's still a decent attack buff, because it is 20%, which is very, very good to make your points. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is his son, Hell Conquering Ambition, Frieza Final Form Angel. He is a technique type, leader skill is tech type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. His super attack is Death Ball, causes supreme damage with rare chance to stun the enemy. Passive skill, Vengeful Anger, attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. Link skills are Universe Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Shocking Speed, Prodigies, Nightmare, and Otherworld Warriors. His max stats are HP of 8475, attack of 8422, and defense of 4083, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. A 12 key multiplier is kind of underwhelming for the card itself, but he does have a decent passive skill of attack plus 90%. And if you want, you also have the other final form freeze, the OG final form freeze that he'll link well with. So you can throw them on the same team together in order to make it a pretty decent team. Just remember that old school freeze is really outdated, so he's not going to be doing a lot of damage like he used to. Um, the next one we're going to go ahead and jump into is Tyrant of the Otherworld, Perfect Cell Angel. His leader skill is Agility Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. His super attack, Solar Command Man, causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Passive skill, Oppression of the Otherworld, attack plus 15% for every key orb obtained. So he is kind of a mini nuker. Actually, not even a mini nuker, he is a nuker. Because of that supreme damage, makes him really viable for nuking. Though nuking is an outdated meta, you can still do it if you want to. Link skills are Big Bad Bosses, Ultimate Life from Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, and Otherworld Warriors. Max stats are HP of 8385, attack of 8135, and defense of 4487, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Underwhelming 12 key multiplier, but you know what, I'm just thinking about it now. Having him on an uh, uh, Android 17 team, he might be actually a little bit useful, a little bit more viable. He does have big bad bosses and Nightmare, which does make him a little bit more relevant. Next one we're going to talk about is the new Paikuhan, Silent Rivalry Paikuhan. Leader skill is Strength Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. Super attack, burning shot, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers attack. Passive skill, other world's champions renowned. Attack plus 60%, all enemies defense minus 20%. Link skills are prepared for battle, gentlemen, experienced fighters, shocking speed, cold judgment, and other warriors. That's right guys, you heard me right. He has prepared for battle. This is kind of history in Dokkan battle. This is the first card that is not a Saiyan that has the link skill prepared for battle. Interesting, I know. Uh, max stats are HP of 9104, attack of 7596, and defense of 4802, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Now before I go into his Doken Awakening, I just want to state, do not Doken Awaken him until you get him up to Super Attack 10. Like the other Paikuhans in the game, he could have his Super Attack raised by Western Galaxy Rivalry Paikuhan, that's the Agility Paikuhan. This can be farmed from the event, the best fighter of West Quadrant. You could farm him from level 1, and he has a drop, a decent drop rate of 50%. Go ahead, grind him out, get him, Z-Awaken, this agility, 
Paiku on and feed him into the strength one before you Doken Awaken him. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about his Doken Awaken. His Doken Awaken requires 24 Goku Angel Medals from the current Otherworld Tournament event that's out, 3 Janemba Doken Medals, and 3 Gogeta Doken Medals. Once you get those medals, he will Doken Awaken into Silent Rivalry Paikuan. His new leader skill is Strength Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack Burning Shot causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers attack. Passive skill, Other Worlds Champions Prestige, attack plus 70%, and all enemies defense minus 30%. Link skills are Prepared for Battle, Gentlemen, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Other World Warriors, and Fierce Battle. Max stats are HP of 9529, attack of 7805, and defense of 5015. His 12 key multiplier is now 140%. So that 12 key multiplier is now more viable. The thing I did want to mention about him though, you know, it's not going to be optimal for your team, if you pulled him and you have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku card, he has Prepared for Battle, he has Shocking Speed, and he has Fierce Battle. Now, by no means am I saying that this is going to be an optimal unit for you, but he hits off 4 key for that Goku, that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and Fierce Battle. Now, granted, he's missing Super Saiyan and Saiyan Roar and Kamehameha, but I mean, at least he has the Fierce Battle link, so if you're really lacking cards to link with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he wouldn't be that bad. Plus, he has that ability greatly lowers attack, Actually, it's kind of funny because all of the Paikuhans, except for the farmable one that I just talked about, they all have the Greatly Lowers Attack, and even the Agility one that I did talk about, the Strike Event, he just lowers attack. So that might be a thing for Paikuhan about lowering the enemy's attack. It's going to be pretty cool. The, the one thing about that that I don't like is if you have Greatly Lowers Attack, you're going to want to not have him off rotation. That means you're not going to want to have him uh, at the end in the third slot because you're going to want to keep him on so that way he constantly lowers it, and it will make the rest of that turn the enemy won't attack as hard which isn't as viable unless you don't really have an optimal team, then you might want to keep him paired with Super Saiyan 4 Goku just so he gets the Link skills hit off. But that's the Paikuhan, really good card, I enjoy him, I like him, I would probably consider running him for fun. The next card that we're going to talk about though, this one is actually ridiculous, he's super viable, it's actually funny that he is not a Doken exclusive. Victory Ceiling Super Attack, Super Saiyan Goku Angel Super Kaioken, that's a freaking ridiculously long title. <laughs> Leader skill is physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is Super Kaioken Kamehameha, causes immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. So very, very similar to the Super Saiyan God Kaioken Goku. Passive skill, twisted or a key plus 2 and attack plus 80% when HP is 50% or above. Restriction kind of stinks, but it's a decent passive. Link skills are prepared for battle, shocking speed, Super Saiyan Kamehameha over in the flesh and other world warriors. His max stats are HP of 8565, attack of 8135, and defense of 4398. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. He Doken Awakens with 3 Gogeta medals, 3 Janemba medals, and 24 Paikohan medals from the Otherworld Tournament events. When he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into Burning to the Last Super Saiyan Goku Angel Super Kaioken. His leader skill is Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. His Super Attack, Super Kaioken Kamehameha, causes immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. Kind of stinks that they didn't do anything to the Super Attack there. They should have probably lowered it to maybe 5%. Passive skill, Thundering Aura, Key plus 3, Attack plus 100% when HP is 50% or above. Again, I don't like that restrictive passive, but for who he is not being a Doken exclusive, they had to put some type of restriction on him. His link skills are Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over in the Flesh, Otherworld Warriors, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 8963, Attack of 8371, and Defense of 4590. He has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. So this card, if you guys pulled this card, he is phenomenal. He is so ridiculous for being a non-token exclusive and having a chance to get him on a guaranteed SSR banner pull. You have three... 30 Dragonstone guaranteed SSR pulls where you can pull him. Let me, I just did a little bit of math on this. Let me just talk about it real quick. With 120 lead, that's the go to in the future when we get the physical 120 lead. With Super Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan Kamehameha at Super Attack 1, he's doing 680,000 damage just base, not including any type of damage multipliers for going up against specific types of enemies. With the Super Attack 10 on that, he does 1.08 million damage on his super attack before he actually hits the opponent. On a Broly team, that's the 70% Broly lead at SA1, he does 486,000 damage base. And super attack 10 is 774. 
on a Vegito blue team, a double Vegito blue team, 409,000 damage, Super Attack 10 is 651,000 damage. Now that is not including having the Other World Warriors uh, Link still hit off. Now with that taken into consideration, you're going to want to multiply, I think it's like 1.2% on that, or yeah, 1.2 on the actual totals there to get your perfect... Um, uh, your, your, your actual max that you can get, but unless you're trying to actually set him up to do that, you're not going to really have someone else with Otherworld Warriors on there. But let me tell you, this is a ridiculously good card. 100% key plus 3 passive skill is going to make sure that he gets his uh, super attacks off as long as your, key, your HP is 50% or more, and attack plus 100%. It's ridiculous. Now, when he falls below that 50% uh, of health, he is definitely not going to be hitting as hard. Definitely not going to be hitting as hard. Uh, so try to keep your health up if you're going to run him on a team. But his link skills are also phenomenal. It's prepared for battle, shocking speed, and over to flash. Typical of a Kaioken card. And Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle. And Kamehameha. This card overall is an amazing card. He hits hard, he links well. Other than that passive skill with that restrictive HP passive, he is a phenomenal unit. If you get him, you're super lucky. I don't know how he's going to play on an optimal team. I haven't done that research. But he is a decent card to have. And if you have him... I mean, hell, make sure you focus on Doken Awakening him. But hey, guys, that's it. Stay tuned, because I'll probably, I'm going to be doing my multi-summons on these. I'm going to do my three multi-summons on video and camera for you. It's going to be a really short video. But thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.